just going to show you uh, a few techniques on how we use the defence against the knife when using Kalar. So the first thing I want to show you is what happens when someone actually tries to pull a knife and the body mechanics that we're going to use to uh, our advantage. So the first thing, here's a guy standing normal. If he wants to try and get his knife, first of all, from this position, there's very little gap to get through. But as soon as he starts to put his hand in his pocket, look how this gap opens up. And this is what we're aiming for. So even in a position where, if I could just turn you around, we're in a situation where a weapon hasn't been drawn on us, but we suspect a weapon's going to come out of this pocket, as he comes to draw it out, I'm going to move in, because I'm going to take advantage of that gap. Look where my hand is. This hand goes through. This hand is stopping the weapon actually coming into me. This is the important one as well, because it also stops the weapon going into a sewing machine effect. Because in reality, if I didn't do anything, and the guy comes at me, that is what really is going to happen. But if we do this, from here, the guy goes to the knife, boom, I see, even if I get it slightly wrong. My hand slipped out, I would have got cut on my arm. But this is reality based. But straight away, I've wrapped. But what I've got is this control here. And this is what it does. It stops this movement going back. It stops that. I'm not saying you can't do that, but I'm better off with that small movement than this movement, yeah? So as you saw then, when I, when I actually went to, to control the knife, my hand slipped off, he went underneath, but I still managed to control the arm, yeah? That's what it's about, controlling this arm as well. So, what I want to show you now is if the guy was threatening me, we're going from a threat, the guy's indexing the weapon into my stomach, the first thing we do, we always do, is get our hands up, yeah? Act passive, submissive. Listen to what this guy wants. Don't pull away. Don't look at him, yeah? You're just making it worse. We're using this time, as we say, to plan. So I'm here, and I ask him, what do you want? Please, please, what do you want? I'm getting money. I'm getting money. I'm getting money. I'm getting money. I'm, getting money. I'm, getting money. I'm, getting money. I'm moving my hands. I'm negotiating with them, like we said before. I'm actually showing I'm going to be compliant. But from this moment on, I'm going to go from here, please, bang! Look what this happened. Look at this arm. Yeah, I've controlled it. I will then wrap, and I'm going to move round the body. I'm now going to soften, smash, soften the guy up, and then I'm going to take him to the floor, which we'll show you another time. One top tip. Everything about survival is about percentages and not big ones two three percent if we can start stacking these percentages up on our side we're going to be better so what we're looking at now is when we actually push through if we can make a fist you can do a normal fist if you want to do that shape do it but when i push through i make a fist through before i come for the wrap and the sole reason for this is if I use my fingers and my fingers get caught, you might have a vest on or something like that, my fingers get caught, the automatic bodily reaction is to pull back. And that's the last thing I want because it gives him that. So these are things that, the small details that give us this percentage of where we can survive in reality. So again, just from here, the knife's here, my hands, my, my elbows are as tight as possible. I'm negotiating with them. I'm showing them that I'm a victim. I'm trying to comply. Please, I'm going to comply. I've got, I've got the money in my pocket. There! See what happened. Get in. Get control. From here, turn the body angle. Smash. Soften. 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 And then take the guy down. So I hope you understood that a little bit. Just about a little things about our knife defence, which is our Kalar, part of our Kalar system, and I hope you understand why we do these things, to keep the guy close in, to keep control of that knife.
The main thing is, be safe out there and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.